Sky Watch. City workers acting quickly to do a little flood control on Buffalo Bill just south of Leota and North Platte. River waters were spilling onto South Buffalo Bill Avenue. City workers were using bucket loaders full of sand to shore up the road, making sure everything still runs smoothly. As of now, South Buffalo Bill Avenue remains open. And remember, we are currently updating our website. You can check that out for the latest information. KNOPnews2.com. Folks, needless to say, we are still under a flood warning, and that remains in effect until further notice. And not just for here in Lincoln County, but we're also under flood warnings over there by Lexington, Ogallala, Keith County, Dawson County, Dual County, all the way across the South Platte into the Platte River. Now, as we we're talking about the river, we're still looking at our flood stage about 13.9 feet. It's cresting right about now. As we go into Sunday, drop a, a couple of inches still above flood stage, but then going into the new work week, we're going to drop into the action stage, which is 10 to 13 feet above. So hopefully these water levels will recede, but they are receding very slowly. Looking at our neighbors further to the east, Brady not quite getting to the flood. Uh, well, they're in the flood stage, but they're not quite getting to their moderate flood stage yet. They're expected to reach that tomorrow, cresting at 9.4 feet. But as they get into the new work week, it's going to be a slow rebound. They're expected to get a little bit more water than we are. Looking at the live satellite and radar, nothing much to talk about except a large cold front moving over to the east coast but as we look over to the west we can also see another system developing and moving our way what we can expect as far as precip goes comes in on monday seeing a nice little warm up courtesy of this warm uh, courtesy of this warm front but as it moves further towards the east a big gap is going to be coming in it's going to be filled by some southerly winds and we're going to uh, feel those tomorrow some gusts could get up to 30 miles per hour and as this cold front moves closer towards us we're going to be seeing an increased chance for thunderstorms by the new work week along with a little bit of a cool down right now clear as a bell across the corn husker state nothing really much to report as far as precip goes 66 degrees right now hey it's not sunny out that needs to be fixed as we go out to our corn husker state looking at those starry skies 66 degrees over there in alliance also 66 in North Fork, 67 over in Lincoln, still celebrating Huskers' victory for tonight. Clear and cool wind coming out of the south around 10 to 5 miles per hour. 53 degrees is our expected low here in North Platte going on into tomorrow. It is going to be a breezy one, ladies and gentlemen. 86 degrees, but look at those wind gusts. Southeast, 15 to 20 miles per hour. Some wind gusts could get at very high above 30 miles per hour. So hold on to your hats when it comes to that. As for our seven day forecast, looking at a nice little cool down coming our way for Monday. Tomorrow is actually the first day of fall. Very nice conditions actually for that going on into Tuesday. So rebounding from that 71, 79 degrees under sunny skies. Very nice. 81 degrees on Wednesday, 56 for your low. For your Thursday, going down a little bit more, bringing in an increased chance for thunderstorms on Friday, 67 degrees. That is a big cool down. Then by Saturday, 72, still looking nice out there. So Jacqueline, it was a nice summer full of lots of great temperatures. And now as we get into fall, we're going to start leveling out a little bit. All right, thanks, Tom. It was a train lover's paradise in Cody Park today for the annual Rail Fest celebration.